Hello, I'd like to go over some basic information about using Zoom. Specifically, I'd like to talk about joining a Zoom meeting, uh, sharing your screen, annotating the screen by making notations on something that's being shared, and recording a Zoom meeting. Uh, I'll make a separate video about hosting a Zoom meeting and inviting others to that. If you look at your basic Zoom program here on a computer, in your home screen, you'll have the option to join a meeting by entering an ID, or if you have a link, you can click on that link. You can create a new meeting or schedule one. Uh, you'll also have settings here, and this is where if you have issues with video or audio, you can make adjustments. This is also a variety of settings you have, including the virtual backgrounds, if you want to add some cool virtual background or add your own. Uh, and a variety of other settings worth checking out. There are also settings at zoom.us. When you go there and click your account, you can see a settings page that will allow you to adjust a variety of settings for both joining and hosting a meeting. If you click on the settings page, there are a variety of settings that I'll talk about in the other video about hosting Zoom meetings. But I'm going to go ahead and join a Zoom meeting now. I have entered my code, and the Zoom meeting should start. Uh, you'll notice there are a couple of different views available. One is speaker view, one is gallery view. I tend to go to gallery view so I can see everybody, but that's up to you. If you have any issues with audio or video, you can adjust audio or video settings here. If you'd like to see the chat room, you can click here and you'll see people chatting. Notice that when my mouse is off the main Zoom window, the menu toolbar down below disappears, but when you click on it, it appears again. If I try to record the meeting, I will need to get permission from the host, which I am going to get now. I have been given permission, so now I can click record, and this will automatically be saved on my computer. In Windows, it's saved on uh, under Documents, Zoom. You can pause the recording anytime and then continue when you are ready. You can also stop a recording and do multiple recordings, all of which will be processed and saved at the end of the meeting. So you can make multiple recordings in the same Zoom meeting if you like. When you click on Share Screen, you will have a few options. You can, I have two monitors, so I can share my entire monitor, either of them, um, or I can share a particular program. You can also share an iPhone or an iPad or a whiteboard that people can draw on. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and share one of my browsers that has a Google Doc open and click. Ah, one other thing to mention, you'll notice down here, I have the option to share computer sound. What that will allow is if you play a video or anything on your computer, people in the Zoom meeting would hear that audio. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and click share. And so now I see the part of my screen that is being shared. My toolbar now has moved over and it's disappeared. I have to click it back and drag it. And when someone is sharing the screen, including yourself, you can click annotate. And annotate will let this menu bar pop up. And this is where you can draw on this and anybody can draw on my page. You can choose a shape if you'd like to use that. You can spotlight. So as you're talking, if you want to uh, use a spotlight, you can. And you can also clear everything. And stamps. You can post stamps on things. So the annotation lets you uh, kind of take notes on something that is being shared. And if you want to turn that, make that menu disappear, you can just exit out. When you are sharing, the menu kind of disappears, but if you click on the green part here, it reappears. So if I wanted to share a different part of my screen, I could. 
This is the debut window. I'm using this to record this um, screencast. I use Zoom for screencasting a lot, but because it's hard to screencast a Zoom from within Zoom, I um, am using a different tool. So I'm going to go back to sharing the Google document and then I'm going to stop sharing. You can pause the share or you can click the red stop share. So those are some basics about using Zoom. Uh, for my class, the important things will be knowing how to share your screen and how to record, but uh, there's lots more to learn about Zoom. In any event, good luck. See you in class.